Alrighty guys, this is our game again today. We are going to be casting another Kerrigan Survival pre-made game. But before we start, the best way to support my channel is to subscribe because we are on the way to a thousand subscribers. And also you can, you can check out my Twitch channel in the description. I do stream every weekend so you can either like play with me while I'm live or just hang out in the chat. Whatever you please. Now let's see what this game is going to be looking like because I'm pretty sure this is a pre-made. I know most of these names and most of these guys are pros. So we have Ash with the champion. We have its Pucci gang with the Dark Templar. We have Sox with the Mentalist. We have Massa with the Scientist. We have VG with the Technician. We have Folos with Artanis. We have JDL with the Selendis. And then we have Mickey with another Selendis. I think I got everybody. And on the other side we have Kelulu with Zagara. And then we have Come on the Haka. We're gonna have Triple Q with the Haka. Now let's see what this game is gonna be looking like. As a pre-made, of course I am expecting like really high level moves from all of these players. Except for maybe like two or three of them who don't really know what's going on. Because usually even in pre-made you're gonna have those players who don't really know what's happening. Because I mean getting 10 players, all pros to play at the same time, tends to be really freaking hard. Now the Akka's gonna go to the bottom left. Yeah, this is a bit suspicious. Okay, the Dark Templar went for some income right next to the middle side. Look at this, the Akka's going straight forward, does he know? He probably scouted with a random Zergling, you know, he knows there's something going on here. So then this will have to salvage all of these. She will manage to actually salvage all of them. I mean... This is pretty interesting because the Haka did not even go for her income. Miki says how. Yeah, that's a very good question. Just how did this happen? How'd you find her, dude? He like walked straight into Selenis' income. That was a bit sus, I gotta say. I hope you're not using map hacks, the Haka. I really do. Okay, so this Selenis managed to retreat. And she's got the minerals back, which is nice, but still, that was scary. The Haka finding her like that was not something that happens on a regular basis in the game. He just went straight for her like she, he already knew she was there. I'm gonna assume he scouted that with a random Zergling and saw that there's something going on there. Now we have Massa going for the corner income while defending it with freaking marines. This is not the best way to go about it, but I guess it's fine. Look at Sox going for all of those Zerglings, even using his Fireball to destroy those four. Okay, that is pretty sweet. He's already at level 7. He's been farming really well so far. He's got the staying healthy and he's got no other quests. He's gonna go for that one alone, apparently. If so he wishes, then so it will be. I think it's gonna go... what is he gonna focus? I think it's gonna focus the Ice Orb so that he can spam later a lot of spells while having a ton of energy regen because that is the main reason why you go uh, Ice Orb. It's mostly like the shield and energy regeneration that they give you, that these orbs really give you. Look at the Haka. Can he drag? He could drag the Elementalist. Is he gonna drag the Snowball? Can you drag the freaking Ice Ball? I'm not sure, I don't think you can actually. He's gonna go towards our tennis. Did he really crash into an adept? Can you crash into allies? Apparently, yes, you can. He's gonna have to run away, he's gonna use a fireball. He's gonna run, he's gonna go, he's gonna get buffed by the Artanis like speed aura. Look at him, he's gonna go for fireball after fireball on this Zerg. You know, the hacker will drag him, but he will manage to escape. Even though the hacker is a bit faster right now. His snowball is gonna come off cooldown, or I guess ice ball. He's gonna go for another fireball, never mind. Doesn't even wanna go for the ice ball. Okay, no, the regeneration though, that's OP. No, Tehaka, what are you doing? Tehaka's not gonna follow him into the choke. He could have caught him into this very choke, and he chose not to. I guess he's going for way too many fireballs for the Haka, as far as I can see. His fireball cooldown is extremely low. I bet he. I bet he got the cooldown boost with gas, how is it even called? Yeah, look at this. The cooldown multiplier. Kelulu says hi, who's Kelulu? 
Oh, there he is. He's the actual defender. Okay, the Elementalist has been terrorizing the Haka for a while now. Look at this. And he's level 16 at minute 7. Most people aren't level 16 even at minute like 18. Look at the technician, he's gonna even like accelerate his laser towers to go for the links. Okay, now Sox will be waiting for these links to go by and then he will just use his fireball. Okay, they will go for the gates. Why did he use his snowball? He just used his snowball, did you see that? Why would you do that, Sox? He's waiting for them. He's got a slip thingy, he can make... He can like immobilize a lot of links, I guess. He can use his uh, fireball now. But no. He does not have the income actually, he doesn't have enough minerals for the fireball. Can he use it? Yeah, he is gonna be using it. All of those links will go down, he is now level 19. He is an extremely fat elementalist now, QQQ. He's gonna go for the Ash guy, for the champion. But he's not there anymore, he just retreated. Look at Massa, is he gonna go where the Haka just checked? No, it's not a good idea, you need to wait to see the Haka. And then when you know where he is and that he's not gonna destroy you, just go for some income or something. The guy's got a thousand minerals, so he's not weak. A thousand is nothing to laugh at. But again, is nothing to be proud of either. At minute 8 or 9, you would want to have about 2,000-ish total minerals worth of, me worth of income. 1,000 is not a lot. It's decent, but not a lot. He just missed with the fireball, did you see that? I saw that. He's just gonna go for more and more kills. He's sort of running out of minerals so often. He, he needs like a lot more... Like income in general. A lot more minerals. He only has like this staying healthy thingy. And he study hard of course. Does he have anything else? And I guess the untouched? He's gonna go straight for untouched and then does he have anything else? No, he does not. Is he gonna go for unscratched? Please go for unscratched. There's gonna be a nice shield boost for you, buddy. Oh, the hacker's gonna drag Mr. VG and the technician will fall. How was that, VG? I mean, he's supposed to be so much further from the Haka, especially if he's a technician. That is a lot faster than the Haka in the first place. So that was a shame. Yeah, VG just leaves the game. Now I'm starting to doubt that this is a pre-made in the first place. Because I only see a couple of pro guys, as I said before. Pucci Gang is still going relatively strong. He's trying to hold his uh, base alive. Keep it alive. No, he cannot one-shot Zerglings, are you kidding me? He cannot one-shot... or can he? No, he cannot one-shot Zerglings for some reason. I mean, why is this even a thing? I mean, oh, they went for plus one, but they also had 65 like HP before. I guess they, yeah, they did the Zergling bonus HP upgrade. And then they had like an extra, I believe, with 20 HP. And they could not quite one-shot them. I guess this is one way to make farming for the survivors a nightmare. Just go for a lot of HP buffs for your stuff. Okay, where's the Haka now? He's just gonna go around. But I mean, most of these guys are already dead. There's only a couple left. A couple of builders, I'm saying. We have Folos, one. Is the Artanis, two. Mickey, three. The uh, Scientist, and is that everybody? And I guess JDL with the other Salendis. No, no, this is also the other Salendis. Oh, also we have Ash. So we do have four builders left. It's not that bad. Once it gets down to three and two, it's gonna be very risky for the guys to play. Look at Sox. Now with freaking 800 shields and 4000 minerals. His quests were done. He's like untouched and unscratched and staying healthy. All are done. So he's gonna get a lot of um, like shield income. How? It is called shield income for the elementalist. And he also has a lot of regen. Okay, just go for a fireball in here. Look at that. Just gonna destroy all of those things and the DT will follow. The Dark Tempa just lost all of his income. Okay, Elementalist is gonna go for another Fireball and the Haka. No, don't go for more Zerglings when you know there's a freaking Elementalist to spamming Fireball. But he is actually gonna go for more and more things. Guys, I need a place to base. 
says it's it's Pucci gang. But do you really do you like have the income to base? Because it's kind of poor. The Dark Empire is sort of like dirt poor right now. I can't imagine him doing anything really. I mean, at least he's level 26 at minute 14, which is really nice. He's just like harassing the Haka at this point. Because this the Haka, can he do anything against him though? I mean, he can send the Zerglings, but he'll, he'll just use the Fireball and Spell Dance to get out. Yeah, the Elementalist is now way too strong to die anymore. <laughs> the Haka, oh, there you go, he's gonna go for Hydras. The Hydras are the only things that can really break the Elementalist at this point. <coughs> like, nothing else would work, excuse me. My voice is kinda dying now, I need to get some water. I gotta restore it. Now he could go for never enough and gain a couple more shields from this one if he really wanted to, but I'm not sure about that. He's already got like 1400 total HP. Which is enough to survive most of the Hydro attacks and most of the drags with the Hydro attacks. So I wouldn't say he needs more. I'd say he is uh, all right as he is now. Doesn't need a lot more upgrades and buffs and boosts. He can go for another quest. Okay, he did go for never enough actually. The Haka is gonna try to snipe Ash's income. He sees it. Come on, the Haka. No, the Haka. Destroy it. He just went past it. Does he not want this guy to lose all of his income? Now, Artenis does have plus. How much is that? He's got plus two, so he's really freaking tanky. Yeah, the Artenis is gonna go around like no problem. Look at the Elementalist, level 35. Yeah, the guy is practically rich now. And he's also got the burn them all thingy, or I guess how it's called. Yeah, burn them all. This is gonna make Sox deal damage around his body after killing something with his uh, fireball thingy. He's gonna be able to regenerate so freaking much. Okay, come on, use another fireball. Look at this. He's just going inside the limbs so that he can use the burn them all thingy. Destroy them. Artenis is trying to run for his life now. He doesn't have any next life for himself. Run, socks. Run. He just needs to not get attacked for a couple of seconds. What was that? That was uh, the freezing field. I guess that buffed his speed. So that's neat. He's gonna go around. He's just gonna go full on like ice ball. He doesn't even care about anything else. Ice Ball and then a lot of experience. Poor the Haka, Triple Q doesn't know what to do against this guy. Sox is by far like the best elementalist. And it's mostly because he plays him like a... Like, I don't know, like he's freaking desperate. I know he's got almost a thousand games with the elementalist. Over multiple accounts. But he might also just have 400, which is still a lot. I know that on his main account. And like without really resetting anything, he has at least 500 Elementalist games, which is nuts. He is insane. He's just obsessed with Elementalist. And it shows in his playstyle. He is extremely powerful. Base Ash asks, can you base Mr. Ash? Because nobody really has income for that. Look at this. Just going to use the Freezing Field to slow down the Haka. The Haka just needs a lot of Hydras. And then a good drag to kill this guy, even though he's got 8 armor. And then 107, 1000, how much is that? 1600 HP. He can still get destroyed by the hack if he drags him properly. Because, I mean, the builders are just toast right now. They just suck. Look at this. Mickey's got, like, almost no income. Okay, he's actually got some, never mind. He's not dirt poor, he's just not very rich. And I mean, I can also see the Senate has some income, Mr. Massa, but he's got only plus 2s, I'd like to see like plus 32s and plus 16s at minute 20. Kind of everybody is poor right now, except I guess for the Elementalist who's got 10 freaking thousand. He's gonna try to save the little Selendis, he's gonna manage to. The Haka is not even trying to push him anymore. Come on, the Haka, you gotta try to kill the guy, because you know, a level 100 elementalist is nothing to laugh at. The guy could literally destroy Sonf after Sonf after Sonf 
if he gets powerful enough. So the Haka should try to not joke about this anymore. Look at Ash, he does have a bit of income. He's going for more Centurions and for his Strider. Okay, nice. He's going for what he should be going. The Elementalist is now gonna go on Creep. I don't know about this dude. What do they have? Do they have a Glevig? I think so. Come on, where is uh, where's the freaking Defender? It's the blue guy, but where's the blue guy? Or I guess the blue guy... Is the blue guy um, the Haka? No, he's the dark blue guy. The blue guy is the defender. But where is the... Okay. Oh, it's just the guard. Okay, never mind. The weakest, like, defender ever. Why could you go for... Why, why could you not go for Niagara, for example? Now the Gara is gonna have a lot of problems fighting pretty much anything. Cause she's just not fast enough to keep up, even if she can like teleport on top of someone, then she cannot keep up with them. Okay, Zagara is too much strong for us tanks, I died says Pucci Gangs. For killing bio tumors, I mean... Pucci Gang didn't have HP in the first place. I mean, I think he had like only 0 0 or 1 1. Fighting a 2 2 Zagara with that is not a good thing, bro. He's got the teleportation mark, apparently, he just got it. I mean, he just used the freezing field, which is 5,000 minerals. Why is it so expensive, bro? What's going on? Okay, Mesa's gonna try to defend with ghosts, and then JDL with Zealots, and this is kind of gonna work, but not quite. I mean, come on. No way! Did Sciences just salvage everything to mass ghosts? I think he spent like half his minerals on ghosts alone. That's not okay. Now the hacker's looking for the other builders desperately. He doesn't know what to do anymore. He's looking for Artanis now. He sees the JDL turrets. And he's actually gonna send a lot of troops towards those. The turrets have no chance at least of living. So yeah, poor Salandis. Poor JDL. He's got a couple of plus 16, so he's not broke. Again, he's just not very rich either. You could need the base, yeah, you could uh, make a base right over here. Look at Miki, Miki is also going for Colossi. She doesn't have 1-1 one, one, though, so that's not the best thing in the world, but I guess they can. Yeah, this is a full-on base right now. Especially with Sox here, who's gonna go for more strength and he's almost at 2000 HP total. The guy is insane. He doesn't even care about anything else but the shields that he's got. Shields and HP, that's all he's thinking of right now. He's gonna go for more strength. They're gonna actually ping the photon cannons. JDL is gonna go for a lot of zealots actually. He should really try to go for a couple of colossi because those are like the ultimate warriors. Look at this, they're just attacking Zagara. They're tickling her, they can barely do any damage. Or I guess Elementalist can do a lot with that thing. That is, I believe, the... I don't know, something with the storm. Where's the Haka? He's gonna fight on the left side. With Ash, apparently. He really wants to kill the... Um, champion. Come on, he, he does not seem to care, champion, no! He's got a strider attacking random things, but he's not running away from the Haka. Who is uh, coming at him with a uh, thousand zerglings and plus three plus three ash ash come on no no yes yes blink blink out no what are you doing okay okay nice ash is out now the hacker is probably gonna try to destroy him he doesn't know where he's gonna go okay he sees he sees him now the hydras will go forward and he needs to blink out yeah he's gonna run away the hacker can catch him but he needs to be expecting him anywhere Look at the Hydras, he's just gonna evade them. No, no, don't go towards them. Did the Haka see him on the left side? I'm not even sure. He's gonna kill one Ling and that may reveal his position. He's gonna get scanned by the Haka, there you go. He needs to run now, run Strider, run to the base. And I guess will Zagara not try to intercept him, like here? Because she could definitely destroy him with some Hydras. Just send the Hydras here, and then cut him off, and then destroy him that way. Because he can be extremely annoying in a base. 
especially with a lot of Tardarines. The champion is just insanely powerful. The is gonna drag him and he's gonna blink away. Okay, Pucci says lurkers. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the girl's trying to fight with freaking lurkers. I guess those are gonna work, but they're not as, you know, as potent as Somphs, for example. Okay, look at this. The Strider is trying to make maneuvers around the Haka. The girl is desperately trying to break through this base, but she's not doing it. Ash says base right over there. I mean, they already have a base, my man. I don't think they can afford to change it. I mean, they're just gonna go for the lurkers. Especially socks. He's just gonna use the that very weird storm once again on the lurkers. He's now level 51. By the way, the max level for this guy is 100. So he's got he's still got like a way a long way to go. He's gonna use the fireball on the Haka. His fireball is now costing 1,300, so it is pretty expensive. Now they even have Rutas. Those are pretty OP against the Colossi, but I mean, one Colossus won't be enough for the Brutas to just fist on for forever. Look at this, the guy is gonna go forward using the Freezing Field for some reason. He wants to slow all of this down, and all of these Lurkers will almost die due to his um, very weird storm thingy. How is it even called? How is that thing called? I guess it's Freezing Field. Does, I mean, it does, it does not do damage. The Freezing Field actually does not do any damage. I mean, they will eventually manage to clean up all of those ghosts, but then the Metalist needs to hold. Okay, we have some roaches coming from the back, from the bottom of the base. That is pretty... pretty neat. It's Push Gang says, Ash, you are OP. What is Ash even doing? He's just FKing right there. I mean, the base will get broken eventually. Even though the Elementalist has like no trouble fighting all of these. He's got now over 2000 HP. Use your fireball. Okay, that was a lot of heat. He's just gonna go by Zagara. Look at his regeneration. This is insane. He's just gonna run away through the left side. He's gonna start regenerating HP immediately. He's even gonna kill that Overseer. Yeah, rip Overseer. He's now level 59. He just regenerated everything in a couple of seconds. The only way that the hacker could do this now is probably if he dragged him into a lot of songs and bandings. Because now this guy's got over like 2200 HP. And he's only level 60, he's got a long way to go. I mean, the Hydras are not gonna cut him off. He's way too tanky for these. I can see Ash keeps pinging himself for some reason. Oh, Artenis just got destroyed. Wait, how? Where was he? I guess Mickey will have to salvage. Artenis got absolutely destroyed, but where? I did not see that. I mean, the guy did not have a lot of income anyways. The only guy who can get something is probably JDL. He's got the most income, even though that's still not a lot of income. Okay, the Lamentai is gonna try to fight the Haka right now. He's just gathering Zerglings to just fireball them. He's gonna go over the Hydros to destroy them. He's now at over 2400 uh, HP. He's level 65. He's getting like, XP like so freaking fast and he's regenerating everything back in seconds. Apparently this uh, Ice Orb thingy is insanely OP and he's also got the maxed out fireballs, or I guess fire orbs. The only thing that's not chosen is the Storm Orb, I guess he doesn't really need it just yet. He only needs it in the very late game. He's just gonna go for all of these links. Look at the bonus HP he gets, or I guess look at the bonus resources he gets from the enemy HP. That's crazy return in on investment. Yeah, this is the thing that gives him the bonus minerals per kill. Because this gives him a couple of bonus minerals based on the Zergling HP. I'm pretty sure you should probably... Like, decrease some of the actual thing is. You should decrease... How, how are they even called? He's gonna crash into the links. Let me, let me see how, how they're called. Oh, you should decrease the multipliers, yeah, at least the effect one and the secondary effect one, because you don't really need it. Or I guess you should decrease the effect multiplier, because that's the only one he can decrease. But that will still make a kind of a huge difference, especially when you're talking about the fireball that he can cast every few seconds. 
I mean, look at this. Ash is pushing with like a cow during three Taldarins. Guys, I need some minerals. I mean, everybody does. Like 300 for what? Okay, Master Scientist just gets destroyed. He apparently was right over there and he got annihilated by the Haka. Apparently, these survivors don't know to stick with the Elementalist and they just go and get destroyed. Okay, finally, the Zergs will be going for Sons. Now, how is uh, Sox gonna deal with them? Now, even the Ice Ball is having a lot of HP. Look at this, 1300. I guess the strength just buffs everything. He's gonna go like full on fireball. Look at he's got like 900 damage. He's gonna choose the fireball and then he's gonna get ice. What is he gonna go for? I guess he wants fireball and then maybe meteorite. Because those are the things that deal the most damage to the Somphs. This guy is like single handedly carrying his whole team right now. I think this is the best elementalist carry I've seen. He's been wasting so much of the hacker's time. Now the only guys who are alive are Selendis, Mickey and then the champion Ash. They need to not die because Sox might be able to carry this. He's just, he's now literally microing against a freaking song. I mean, what can you really do? He's gonna eventually get it down, take it down. I feel like he should really go for maybe a storm orb and then two fire orbs so that he can deal damage, like real damage. He's gonna go for a fireball on the Haka. He's trying to like poke him down right now. Okay, here comes the stone avatar who is insanely OP. And then this one, uh, Kaldur will try to fight all of these hydros, but there's not gonna be enough. The Kaldur will actually fall. Oh, look at this. He just used the fireball on all of those uh, songs and it does do a lot of damage. He's gonna use this slip on all of those. Can you see that? That's slip. Those are slipping. These constructs are actually very useful at just dealing with all of these small mobs. He is gonna go after Meteorite, look at that, he's gonna use it. He's gonna do a lot of damage, I do not see exactly how much, but I know he will. Okay, finally Mika's gonna go for Immortals to destroy all of these songs, but they're going for so many more songs. Elka's gonna drag the Elementalist, but he's way too tanky for that. He's gonna use the Freezing Field once again, but he doesn't have that many spells left, his cooldowns are reaching out to him. He's gonna go for the clones apparently that aren't really gonna do much. I mean they can tank probably but that's kind of it. Now Selendis will be running away. She'll run away through the right side. Mickey Selendis and then JD Selendis. And then also Ash is gonna leave. Okay they will have to run. No look at the, all of those corruptors. Selendis you gotta use your... No she will fall. Mickey Selendis just died. Sally now it's only JD Selendis and then the Ash champion. And then we have uh, Elementalist. Now you cannot use your fireball on the corruptors. Sadly, the Elementalist cannot deal with this. You need to go for Fireballs and then Storm Orbs. That is the only way you can do it. Okay? I mean, there's nothing left there. Like, absolutely nothing. The Corruptors are gonna try and go after the Selendis. Okay, she sees them. Just run Selendis. Run. And also Sox. Just go after the freaking Corruptors. You gotta get them. Destroy them. He's got 30,000 minerals right now. He is freaking rich. Okay, so he's gonna try to like micro around. Now what is the element is gonna do against all of these? He's gonna get a fireball. He's gonna destroy a lot of those songs. He's gonna go for the snowball, he's gonna crash and then he's gonna run away. The thing is the spell dance can really help him go however fast he wants to. Okay, he's gonna be very low. I mean not very low, but he's gonna lose a lot of HP. Look at the regeneration though, that's insane. He's gonna go for more ice orbs for more regeneration. He's gonna use this snowball. He is gonna manage to get out actually. Yeah, look at that. In the meantime, he can just regenerate. Am I right? Yeah, I think he can regenerate shields while in the snowball. That is, the snowball just destroyed like half the corruptors. Wait, what? No, Selenius is gonna get destroyed. Selenius is gonna get destroyed by the corruptors. That was not okay. He's gonna go into the snowball again, isn't he? Okay, he just used an actual spell to kill a unit, I think, and he got some nice speed buffs. He's gonna go to the left now, the hack is only 38,000 HP. He can get chipped out by these guys, especially Ash. Okay, he's gonna use another fireball on top of all of those. He's got a lot more fireballs to use though. Okay, he's gonna use those on the Brutalisks, just go for more fireballs. 
fireball everything, especially the Haka. The Haka is now at uh, 29,000 HP. He's, lo he's losing a lot though. Okay, look at those banings. They're trying to snipe the elementals of the banes. And he will manage to destroy all of those. He is now kinda low, the elementalist. He's gonna regenerate really fast. Look at that. He's gonna get dragged, but that's not quite gonna work. He's gonna go for the fireball and then now this song will fall. I mean Ash can still hold really well on his own. Even though he is actual champion. Where is it? Where is his soul? It's nowhere to be seen. Oh there it is, with the strider. Okay. Ash you are doing great work. Not really. You need to stay a bit safer than this. Just go into a Kaldur so that you can tank whatever comes your way. Damn, this is desperately trying to hold here. He's got 24 unassigned points. I guess he could go for more strength. Unless he doesn't need anything else. And go for a maxed out Ice Orb. All of these... Okay, can uh, the guy tank for all of these uh, Somps? No, 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 Ash, just run. Run, don't get too shot by the Somps. Look at that fireball! That does like 5,000 damage on one single song. That's insane. Mika is gonna go for the Gold Snow apparently. I'm pretty sure Sox could now use like a Meteorite or something. He's trying so hard to not lose. I mean, will he not just use the damage? Is that not fine? Okay, Strider, go on the other side. The Hacker can drag him. The Hacker can literally drag him. He's gonna go into a Kaldor actually. Yeah, so he's gonna be at the center of the fight. The Haka does have his drag, so he could try and drag this Kaldur into himself. Okay, look at the Elemental, he's gonna go in front of the Haka, he's gonna be so in his face. The Haka doesn't even know what to do anymore, just run. The guy with the Kaldur, just run. Oh, he's got more Kaldurs in the back, actually. He's just gonna build more, no, you're, you're very low. No, Ash, 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 he's, he's gonna get out to the last second. Now the Haka's gonna desperately try to go after him. He's gonna go after the Elementalist once more. But now Ash is waiting to spawn in another Kaldur. Okay, just just go into that Kaldur. Go into the Kaldur. Okay, no. I mean, he's gonna run. That's fine too. Elementalist should really choose his points. He's gonna choose more and more strength. I'm pretty sure you gotta go for the like buff. No more money, guys, he says. Yeah, he lost everything. He could go for a couple of Kaldurs. Okay, the Elementalist is gonna get surrounded by like pretty much every single unit iman immanageable. He's got only a kind of weak fireball, he's gonna get dragged inside of all of these, but look at this, he's way too tanky. He just won't fall, he refuses to die, I can give you some, what is your number? Okay, Pooch has got some money, Zagara's gonna TP, where is she gonna go? Where is the soul? Okay, there he is. He is pretty strong now, the elementalist is trying his best to, his best to just run. He's gonna kill a lot of stuff with his snowball. Luckily the snowball is not that expensive. He actually sold a couple of those uh, multipliers because he no longer needs them. I'm pretty sure you gotta go for damage, Mr. Elementalist. You are at 3000 HP. It's kind of wise to go for damage at this point. I mean, as soon as he takes damage, he just regenerates it all. Okay, just use your fireball. No, I mean, I don't think it's a good thing to go through all of those zones. Just saying. You gotta go through the top, now he sees the Banes, he needs to run, he's gonna use the Fireball, he's gonna get away, he's gonna, he's gonna lose a couple of his HP, but it's okay, he's barely not gonna die, he's just trying to kill random stuff so that he can get his uh, bonus speed, he's, go he's gonna use the Snowball, he needs to go full circle here, okay, he is gonna go, he's gonna go after that one Somp apparently, but that's not gonna do much really. It doesn't do that much damage because his, his multipliers are no longer here. He like gave up, gave them up because it was all costing way too much. The Hulk is even gonna surround this with spine crawlers. Okay, I mean they're trying to hunt Ash. He is the last one alive. Only Ash and the Elementalist can they do this. Where's the Haka? He's not even showing himself. Okay, Elementalist is gonna use his uh, fireball. Now he's got that thing that makes units explode once they get killed by it. So that's pretty neat. Okay, he's gonna need to like cast it again. Okay. I mean, the explosion is not gonna work well unless the units are very close to each other. Like here, did you, do you see this? Those were all bailings who just got destroyed by that one passive. The Elementalist is just so freaking strong, he's gonna go for more and more drones, but drones don't really help. 
Ash is still alive, surprisingly enough. He's level 8. But the element is level 100. Look at this. He is officially maxed out. He's got everything he could ever ask for. He can literally choose the rest of the quests. I think all of them. This is a close on LOL if you really do it. He's trying. Sox is trying so hard. Why is he not going for like a couple of fire orbs to get a ton of bonus damage? That is my only question. Just go for a bit of damage and one shot these uh, songs. Okay, run Ash, Ash, you gotta run. Okay, he's gonna go back. Okay, this is buying so much time. Yeah, Ash is playing really safe here. Look at this, they're just gonna be waiting for him. He's gonna snipe any links coming. Elementary is gonna go after the Haka right now. Okay, he's gonna use the fireball, he's gonna he's gonna do something to him. He's actually gonna use the I'm not sure how he does damage here. It's a very weird, like, uh, purplish thing that he gets after he gets shot by that thing, whatever it is. They are too much eco. Yeah, they are maxed out. And they have a lot of minerals in the bank. Come on, Elementalist, you can do better. Just go for a couple of fireballs, just for the damage, and then he can always, like, choose the ice orbs back. But he doesn't want them. He doesn't want to do it. He's just going to be looking for the Haka now. You should try to snipe him to like snipe him to the best of your abilities. Okay, now use the fireball on the Haka. He's actually going to use it next to him and then go by him. Okay, use your fireball now. No, okay, then wait. He's going to use the freezing field once again. What does it even do? What does the freezing field even do? It slows the guys, it says... DPS, it does some damage actually, like 80 damage a second. Try to kill them because they have too much income. Yeah, there is no way you can like outdo them in terms of income. Look at the Haka, he's getting chipped away so slowly. Okay, then he's gonna go around after the Haka. He could try and snipe all of these uh, spines. The Haka is so focused on the elementalist, he doesn't know. All it takes is to kill that one guy and the game is over. The guy is level 100, I mean, how... He's at 250 strength. He went for almost exclusively strength. And he's still very fast on top of all of that. He's gonna go around, gonna use a fireball. He's gonna go around with the burn thingy. The burning thingy is very useful, especially for him. <laughs> the Elementalist is on fire too, lol. Yeah, go for a farm, he says. Mm, I don't think he should. Right now they are chasing the elementalist. I mean, if the guy, if the champion's gonna draw attention to himself, then I'm pretty sure the hacker will just switch. Okay, so that doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm gonna be honest. That is a very bad idea. Like drawing attention to yourself if you are the strider. Okay, the hacker's gonna lose a lot of HP to that fireball. The Elementalist is gonna keep chasing him, look at this, the Haka, don't try to one view on him. That's not a good idea, okay, he is gonna try to run from him. Okay, Elementalist, just go for more balls, there you go. He's trying to do damage, like, however he can. Okay, all of these Brutals will go down, he's just waiting to destroy a couple more. Look at this, he's getting his money back because of the insane damage he does with his Fireball. You have the chance now, this is... The moment, what moment. The Haka is all the way there in the back. He's gonna go for the structures, actually. Because <coughs> uh, these pines are really sweet farm. Come on, go for the Brutas. He cannot go for all of them. He's gonna go for that one, I guess. And the song too. He's at 22,000 minerals. Just don't die, Ele, or we lose. I don't think it's easy to die for him now. Because he's got, like, over 3,400 HP. And an insane amount of damage and spells. He keeps going for the both freezing field and fireball. I, I understand the fireball, but come on now. Freezing field, like, for what? What are you going for it for? Use the fireball again, destroy the stomp and the bruta. He's gonna actually go for the drones? Okay. I don't really get it, but fine. Zagara's trying to spread creep all over the map. He's gonna go for the Fireball and he's gonna miss. He sees the uh, Zagara right over there. No, don't go after Zagara. He's gonna get chased. He's gonna get surrounded. 
by all of these now the inventory is going to be very low he's going to use the he's going to use the freezing field that's going to slow them down i guess okay he's going to have to run away once again he is alive now zagaro is on his back trying to destroy him okay he's going to have to run use the fireball run again he's trying to stay alive so hard and the Zergs are barely taking any damage. He's just regenerating so much while he's not attacked. Okay, Zagara's gonna try and go after Ash, 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 run. Okay, okay, he did run away. But he's surrounded. She can just teleport on the other side. It's not okay. Yeah, the guys are gonna... Oh, no, 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 Zagara's gonna go on the other side. Okay. Ash is gonna run away in the opposite direction as he should. Okay, look at Sox. He's gonna use the freezing thingy. No, Ash gets destroyed by a Sonf. I should have been more careful. I guess good game well played. Sox was still a beast in this game. Probably one of the best elementalist games I've ever seen.